How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be testing a few different PlayStation 1 games on the RG35XXSP. I know somebody in the comments was wondering about do all of the games work? I don't know about that but that's why I wanted to make a video showing off some of the games that I know work at least. If there's a game you want me to try out that's that comes with a 64 gigabyte uh, micro SD card, I'd be happy to try them out or make a video of it. So far, I haven't really encountered anything um, games that don't work. Although it does lack a lot of games because I only went with a 64 gigabyte one. So this is Tekken 3. Works pretty good. I like it a lot. Ooh, I got a perfect. Uh, here's some Spider-Man gameplay. This game also works really well. Oh, I did want to mention that um, for Game Boy games, games like Pokemon Gold and Pokemon Silver, the 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 clock is uh, whack. So in terms of games not working fully, I would say Pokemon Gold and Silver would be an issue for sure. The good thing about these is you can load your own ROMs too if you'd like. You know, you can even put your own SD card if you want to. Or micro SD card, my bad. So for Spider-Man, this is such an awesome game. I remember when I was a kid. So just got to follow the Spidey compass here. Man, the classic web swinging. You know, graphics have come a long way. Uh, from the PS5 and then compare, playing this, you can really tell. Uh, well, this has some really pointy graphics. So I forgot Black Cat was in this one. Anywho, this is definitely good time, Spider-Man. Let me show you some... Ooh, my Spidey sense is tingling. Let, let's, let me show you some action here. Some action footage. I wish this thing did come with Tony Hawk though, but no problem at all because I have it on my other um, RG35XX. I could probably copy it over. I'm glad this thing has Power Stone for the Dreamcast. That's really cool. Um, but yeah, like I said, if there's any games you want me to try that comes with a handheld, I'd be happy to try it out. So you are limited. But here, let me show you a little bit more action here. Let's try to web this guy. There we go. Missed on the first try. Yeah. And then we have Castlevania. So this one works pretty good too. I haven't played this in so long. So I, I didn't even know what I was doing. It was also kind of hard to um, play because, you know, I had my phone. I'm playing like through my screen. Made it a little bit challenging. But this game seems to be working fine as well. Audio, I didn't really encounter any audio issues. Um, I do apologize. I did have to mute the volume on this because of the copyrights, copyright strikes. So this part of Castlevania, I don't even know what's going on. I just see Dracula and I can't even hit him. Opening scene. So there's a bunch of stuff going on here. By the way, if you've never seen the uh, Castlevania Netflix series, I know it's unrelated, but it's pretty awesome. Uh, with the with the Trevor Belmont, that was a pretty good show. Okay, let's see here. So let's show. Let me show you some Mega Man Six gameplay or Rock Man Six. That's what it says. Um, this one works pretty good. So this is the one where, where he has the uh, this this the green saber sword thing. This is also a really awesome game. Highly recommended. If I'm gonna be playing something, it's probably gonna be Tekken, Gran Turismo, and this. Mega Man 6. Although I am pretty bad at it. I also remember there were like some cheats for this too. I'm going to have to look it up. I know not everybody likes it. But um, the clicky buttons are pretty sweet on this handheld. And oh yeah. If you're wondering about battery life. Um, I don't know. It's held up pretty good for me. I did hear that some of you have been having uh, battery issues on your handheld, like it won't charge. So that's unfortunate. So far I've been pretty lucky. Uh, one time I played like four hours straight on this thing, no problem. I kind of enjoy the retro gaming a lot more than the uh, modern ones because uh, thing with the modern, there's a lot of updates. Like, let's say I recently beat Final Fantasy Rebirth. Man, the last two chapters had so many cutscenes. Like an hour cutscene or something, I fell asleep. Uh, 
but yeah, that's and there's a lot of updates too with modern gaming. That's kind of the issue. Like if I don't play for like five days when I when I load the game, there's like forty five minutes of updates or something. So that's the thing. It kind of uh, ruins the mood. Like for retro games, I could pop this in. Like even you know, I could just pop in a game and just lo it'll load right away. No need for updates or anything. Straight to the gameplay. Up. Oh. Let's see here. Up. Oh, I'm gonna die. All right. Let me show you some Gran Turismo gameplay. One of my all-time favorites. So I just went with the high-speed ring. Uh, one thing I did notice, um, in this footage I'm using automatic, but in the previous footage, which I didn't upload, I was using manual, but the problem is the R1 and um, L1 buttons for gear shifting, it's kind of hard to to reach on this thing. It's kind of hard to press. So that's one of the weakness of the RG35XX SP, is the R1 and, R2, R1 and L1 buttons. So for something like Gran Turismo, you're shifting gears, um, you need to press it. It's... I mean, I can press it, but it's kind of uncomfortable. But yeah, Gran Turismo works pretty good as well. No issues. It's kind of the same as the other RG35XX, the regular one. All right, let's see what else we have. Let me show you another game here. So let's try uh, Crash Team Racing, Nitro Fueled. Never really played this game before. I did play the Crash Bash on PS1 before and the um, other Crash Bandicoot games, but I've never played this one, the Crash Team Racing. Kind of reminds me of Mario Kart a lot. Controls don't seem too complicated either. Everything's pretty good. And I crashed. So let's move on. Ooh, yeah, Mortal Kombat, another classic game. This one's pretty sweet. So I went with Johnny, Johnny Cage. I am losing pretty badly here. Oh, and I died. Let's see if I can get the next round. For, this is like novice difficulty and I'm having a hard time. Wow, these guys, these AI, this AI is pretty good. Either that or I'm just trash. Ah, uh, finish. Uh, they got me. Ooh, that is brutal.